All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Breakfast with Brandon. So today's topic um, that we're going to talk about is something that I'm passionate about is, is excuses. You know, my whole thought process is that excuses have never gotten any, anybody anywhere. And if I would extend any message to anybody at any point in time is that it's time to stop making excuses. Stop blaming other people and take personal responsibility for your actions. Take personal responsibility for where you are in life. All right, so let's talk about excuses. You know, this is my favorite quote, and I, don't, I, I didn't want to share this, but I'm gonna share it. This is a secret of mine. This is something I hold dear in my heart. This is something that, that I learned from my fifth grade teacher, Miss Moss. And I don't mind saying her name, because I love her to death, and she was, she was a powerful impact in my life. So the quote goes as, Excuses are tools of incompetence used to build monuments of nothingness and those who use them seldom amount to anything. I used to have to write that 50 times anytime I'm making an excuse in my fifth grade class. And the funny thing is, is writing that 50 times, I only did it once. Because <laughs> I wasn't never going to write that again. But what it did was it helped me realize in life that making excuses gets you nowhere. There's no, there's no successful person that I know of. There's no successful person that I have read stories of that sit around all day, have pity parties and make excuses for the lack of success that they have. At, at what point do you feel that your excuses is going to get you to where you want to go? And I, and I take it like this. And I know that this on a, on a religious realm, you know, faith without works is dead. If you can you can do talking all you want, you can sit around all you want and expect things to happen for you. But if you don't get out and make it happen, you will never be successful. And I see a lot of this going on now in our younger population of people is that they want to sit around, make excuses, point the finger. Well, this person is why I didn't make it. This person is why I didn't make it because I'm black. I didn't make it because I'm minority. I didn't make it because I'm trans. I didn't make it that, you know, that is unacceptable. If you want to be somebody. I'll tell my son and I'll tell any young person, don't make excuses. Just make it happen. Don't waste time talking about it. Just be about it. You know, and I tell for my for myself and, and how I've gotten to the point that I'm at is that I don't waste time worrying about things that have no value. I don't waste time worrying about the color of my skin because it has no value when it comes to being successful. Now, I could lie to myself. I could play the pity party. I could say because I'm black, I shouldn't be on TV right now. Because I'm black, I shouldn't have my own show. Because I'm black, I shouldn't have this and this and that. And those excuses I never make for myself. And what I would say is that, how about you turn it around for a change? How about you turn it around? If you wanted to use your race, which I don't advise, but if you, if you can't get away from it, then won't you say, because I'm black, I'm gonna work hard. Because I'm black, I'm gonna do things better. Because my history have shown that people have died so that I have the right to vote. So I'm going to succeed no matter what. I'm not going to let their work hard, hard work and their work ethic die in vain. Because in the past, people that look like me were slaves. That should make that should push you to be that much more successful. Not for you to sit and have a pity party and act like, whoa, it's me. I'm not going to succeed because they didn't feel like they didn't feel that way. They weren't sitting on, a, you know, on a in a cotton field making excuses. They, they had a hope and a dream that one day they would be free. One day they would they would be the ones making money off of cotton. One day they'll be able to walk out of there, come and go as they please, not be beaten. One day they were going to be able to vote. One day they were going to be created equal or at least treated equal. One day they, were, they wouldn't have to segregate schools go to the back of the bus, eat in the back of the restaurant. I remember my grandmother told me she did these things, drink out of the different water fountain. They fought for that. And so how much more should you, and I'm speaking to what I know from my, from my background, how much more should you push to become successful and not squander the opportunity? And that can apply to anybody. That can apply for anybody, any race, any type. Your, your parents have worked hard to get you to where you are today. How much more should you push through and succeed? How much more should you not let excuses or let naysayers prevent you from being successful? You should change that, that, that woe is me pity party into, into a driving successful force for you. There's no more excuses. 
No more excuses. No more blaming other people. It's time for us to look in the mirror and decide who are you going to be today? What have you done to make yourself successful? What can you do to make your future better? How can you improve? And are you better than you were yesterday? Those are principles that we should live by. So thank you guys for watching. I know that was kind of nitty getting down to the nitty gritty, but sometimes we got to tell the truth. Sometimes we have to speak on things that people don't want to talk about. So I want you guys to comment in the uh, comment section. Tell me what you think about what I said. Um, continue to give us ideas. We love to talk about things you want to hear, and we love to expound upon things that people won't talk about. So God bless you. We'll be praying for you guys, and I'll see you next time.